This is the Academy's prestigious Pioneer Award. The statue which depicts a country music entertainer was designed and sculpted by Herb Mignery. To present the award are five super ladies of country music and one of country's biggest fans, the star of her own talk show, Lisa Gibbons. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I am really honored to have the privilege tonight of presenting this year's Pioneer Award to a legendary artist and a loving human being. Tonight, I'll be joined by this year's five top female vocalist nominees here on stage, along with other admirers and friends. We are going to surprise her with a story, a story called Coal Miner's Daughter, Honky Tonk Girl, Pioneer Woman. Chapter One. Two years ago, I wrote a song called Coal Miner's Daughter. And I know a little bit about this girl because I just happened to be that coal miner's daughter. Well, I was born to coal miner's daughter. In a cabin on a hill in your holler. Any country artist worth his or her salt will tell you that the music comes from those growing up years, the family, the home, and the traditions. And no one's better proof of that statement than my sister, Loretta Lynn. She was the second of eight children born to Ted and Clara Webb, a butcher holler in Kentucky. And she spent the next dozen years there growing up, learning about life and listening to country music. Then, when she was 13, Oliver Lynn, better known as Mooney or Dew, came out of the army and into Loretta's life. And all of a sudden, she was married and had four children by the age of 18 and found herself living in Custer, Washington, where Mooney had brought them to find a better life. Recently, looking back on her wedding day with her own special cut to the chase brand of humor, Loretta said, the day was fine, it was the night that got me. <laughs> now, chapter two, beginnings. From the start, most every heart that ever broke up was because there always was a man to As with so many of us, Loretta learned by listening. She was inspired by the best, like early female country star Kitty Wells. With Mooney's support and encouragement, Loretta was soon performing at a local honky-tonk for $5 a week. She won a talent contest and appeared on a Tacoma TV show hosted by a young singer named Buck Owens. Then she wrote, I'm a honky-tonk girl, and she and Mooney went to L.A. to record it. They took all their money, filled their old Mercury with 45s, and hit the DJ promotional trail. Thousands of backtop miles later, they had a reason to try their luck in Nashville. Honky Tonk Girl was a hit peaking at number 14 on the charts. Two of Loretta's earliest Nashville fans were Opry star Ernest Tubb and producer Owen Bradley. I was lucky enough to say yes to the Wilburn brothers who brought me a demo of uh, a, a girl singing a song called uh, Biggest Fool of All, I believe it was. And uh, she sounds really nice, but I said, I don't really need anybody right this moment. I need a song for Brenda Lee. And it was a hit for her. And then uh, I met Loretta. And I only got a star, I got a friend. One of my very lucky, lucky days. I'll always be grateful to Loretta for fool number one. But even more so, I'll always love Loretta's special way with the song and how her personality always shines through everything she does. Chapter 3, Success. And success was the name of her first top ten hit, followed shortly by the first of her many recordings to go to number one. And don't come home a drinker with lovin' on your mind. Let's grow up, we're not kids anymore. 
Singing that duet with Loretta was pure pleasure for me because she's so good at it. Seems like she's sung with everyone from the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, to her rowdy friends, the Muppets. Oh. songs with her soulmate, Conway Twitty, that the world will never forget. Chapter four, influence. What influence? She simply took what a female country artist could sing about and swung it around 180 degrees. She made a real and direct connection with her audience and is a constant reminder that singing with our own voices and true feelings is enough. Well, I don't know where that leaves you, oh, but I know where I stand. And you ain't woman enough to take my man. Chapter five, honors. Besides her dozens and dozens of awards and honors, Loretta was the first female artist to be named Entertainer of the Year on the CMA Awards. And in 1980, she was joined by her sister Crystal and her mother Clara when she received the Academy's Artist of the Decade Award from the 1970s. And finally, tonight's chapter, Pioneer. Well, now we've heard all the reasons Loretta deserves this Pioneer Award and how she helped change the image of female country artists and female country people, too. I just want to remind you of all the things she's been careful not to change. Her pride in her country heritage, her care in preserving the sound and feeling of country music, and most of all, her loyalty and love. Like Mooney's current illness that has kept him in Tennessee tonight, Loretta has always been there for her man. She's also always been there for her family, her friends, and of course, her fans. And when she's needed it, they've returned the favor. From then till now, from coal miner's daughter to pioneer woman, ladies and gentlemen, Loretta Lynn! Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, this is a surprise. And um, my husband kept telling me I had to come out here. I love you too, honey. And, um, but I'd like to say too that one of my most memorable awards was given to me here. And uh, I think the Academy of Country Music has been greater to me than about anybody in the world when it comes to award shows. And um, 
MCA records. Of course, I started out on DECA, and then they changed over to MCA, which is the <laughs> Owen Bradley, my producer, as you've seen a while ago. And, um, but I'd like to say that I thank my husband for me being in the business. He's in the hospital right now, and I left his side because he made me. And then when I got out here and I called back, he um, was a little worse than what he was when I left, and we thought we'd have to leave last night. But we will go back if he needs us right away, and which I am going back right away, but even sooner. But I want to thank all of you, and I want to say that this is... What else can I say? I, I wish you would have took this award for me, girls. <laughs> but I want to thank all of you very much and thank my husband, Mooney Lynn. Still to come, the award for Top Country Video, plus a great John Anderson, Tracy Lawrence duet next on the 30th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards.